What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rex. And Ray. Hey, look, we coming to y'all today with uh, like a whole little seafood mug bag. We got some, what's this? We got some lobster tail, we got some shrimp, sausage, potatoes. Corn and eggs. I got beans, green potatoes, tomato. Yeah, nice. You know, y'all gotta be here. But look here, hey, while we eating, we're gonna talk to y'all a little bit about a topic we frequently discuss called respect. Respect. That's R E S P E K. So, which one you wanna talk about? Respect or respect? Respect. Respect. Okay, respect. Boom. Before we get started, let's go ahead and, and, and bust this down real quick. I got something new. It's something new. We, we got a shout out to this old, what you call it? 1800. Hey, they not paying us. Oh. But, but, but if y'all did hear that, yeah. We got this old four digits. Boom. Mm. Ah. Damn. Ah. Uh -uh. Let me get some of this. Let me get some of this. Mm -hmm. Woo! Where am I? Esophagus. Your esophagus shit. <sighs> Alright, so. My shit's hot. While we getting prepped, go ahead and bust something down. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. going to eat. Because he's playing, trying to be cute. That's why I was already ready when we got on camera. Because I ain't got time. Huh. Wait a minute. I'm popping gloves like I'm going to do a, a test. So. Respect. Where should we start with respect? Want to start a friendship, or work, or what? Boom. What we got? You tell me. We can talk about it. relationship, Boom. friendship, work. Mm mm. You know what? Mm hmm. One of them. So, let's talk about friendship, respect first. Okay? So, mm mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Mm mm. So, Friendship respect. Let me get this corn because you ain't gonna eat that. Hell, I ain't eating that corn. I'm gonna tow all my teeth out of my mouth. Lame. So. That's corn to begin with, you tell my. That's how you feel? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like I was saying, we're gonna go ahead and bust this down to you. Boom. Can I see this here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about to be a, a mother freaking problem. So, friendship respect. What does respect start with friendship? What do you mean? Where does it start? Where does it start? So, basically, if, if if you consider yourself friends with somebody and y'all respect each other, my thinking is that you should be able to scold them when they when they, when they fuck up. Correct them. Yeah. Basically, you know what I'm saying. If you mm -hmm. really and truthfully friends. Mm -hmm. Now, if you ain't friends, I'm trying to get some of this sauce. Right here. If you ain't friends, mm -hmm. truthfully. Then they gonna take everything you say in the heart. But if you friends, you ought to be able to correct your friends and y'all still had the same respect and stuff like that for each other. So your homegirl, you'll say y'all getting ready to go out, right? Mm -hmm. and you know she she coming out the house all wrong. You gonna stop her? Mm -hmm. what, what you gonna tell her? Sus, that ain't it. <laughs> Cause you ought to be able to tell your friend, hey man, like man. If something ain't right, you ought to be able to say, hey. But you know, just because they make me on your side don't mean it's meant for you. So, for real. And that aspect, you know, I call my friend and I be like, hey. But some people just, they don't care. If that's what they want to wear, what they want to do, their confidence is out the roof, then by all means, do you. So but, if, if if it's a pattern with them doing the same, then I'm gonna just let it be because that's okay. what they want to do. Okay. That's their life. They what they want to do. They want to do. They buy. Don't buy something. Okay. Okay. That's on friendship. So if if, if your friendship friendship respect is not being respected, then you're not gonna be able to respect your friendship. Yeah. Okay. 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 Scold him on that and pull him to the side. Hey, hey you, know, you know you ain't living right. Yeah, I'm gonna call him on that because mm -hmm. my thing is, if you doing some fuck shit to somebody else, now I'm talking, what you doing to me behind my back? Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. He's so, elbow. He's you you got to be real yeah. careful who you call your friend anyway. Hey, say that one more time. I don't think that hurts you out there. You got to be real careful who you call your friends yeah. anyway. Because yeah. everybody is not your friend. Some everybody people is for, your friend. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. And some people come to your life for a reason and, and some for a season. You know, so you got to just take it for what it is and let it be. Hey, she's dropping gems on y'all. I, I hope y'all taking this in and collecting it. Put me in, into your mental roller decks because she is she ain't man she ain't man. So she and me too. She we got the same germs. We been together how long? Almost twelve years. Hmm. Okay. So okay. Respect that work. We yeah we respect that work. Oh, that's a must for me. My thing is, it ain't just that work, this is in any relationship. But, but we can have we a don't different, work though. I know, work. but I'm just saying, because this applies to our relationship. We can have a difference of opinion, but you still need to be respectful of other people. I don't care if you don't agree with them, political parties, whatever the situation might be, music, whatever it is. Respect you me, I respect, respect you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And this is my biggest thing. Respect my space. Especially right now, the climate we live in, respect my space. If I ask you to back up away from yeah. You said no, I can't say the whole word. I said wrong. I'm saying you good, you good. So if I ask you to back up, I ain't being rude. I'm just being cautious. Don't get mad. Don't go, don't, don't go to HR on me. Don't do none of that. Because uh, I'm going to win every time. So, it work. It's my respect, right? Mm-hmm. So, how do you feel about somebody asking you something at work once you give your honest opinion on, on, or, or your, your method or your way of doing it? You're like, well, now nah, I don't want to do it that way. How do you feel about that? Don't ask me shit if you already know on your mind how you want to do it. Because first of all, that. you ain't respecting my opinion, right? Yeah. So why you even ask me? That's what I'm saying. Keep your motherfucking thoughts to yourself. If you're going to do it your own way anyway, don't ask me nothing. I'm going to holler my mama. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, that's just how I feel about it. That's what anything. That's even in relationships and stuff. Friendships well, or whatever. We getting up. No, I'm getting saying the friendships or whatever. All that. You ask your friend something. When they give you they honest opinion, you get pissed off. If you gonna get pissed off, don't ask me. Simple as that. Now think of two what we talked about earlier. Was that if I can't tell you nothing? Then why are we even cool? So we, we saw our friends, right? So our friends. So if, if 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 I can come to you and tell you, hey, what you wearing or whatever is fucked up, all that should translates to, to every aspect of life. So, going forward, if you got friends and y'all know y'all friends, y'all cool, y'all y'all rock, y'all do whatever, if that person that you tell, hey, you know you fucked up, right? Can't accept that? That probably ain't your damn friend. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably one of the ones on social media starting shit about you. Shit, I ain't no social media shit. It's gonna take your phone call. Oh, that too. Yep. Probably the ones that, that they got them blind, uh, them blind, uh, uh, uh what no, them, them fake ass pages trying to watch what you're doing and shit like that. Oh well. Well, if they got fake pages, they ain't your friend to begin with. Let's be clear. You feel me? You feel me? So, is that it? Oh, you already did? I already did it. Why didn't you tell me? Because you over here tripping. I'm eating shit. I'm hungry. Let me see. Mm-hmm. I'm probably out. She's stuck in my teeth. But I've been trying to see. You that in the camera, though? I've been doing it the whole time. See, they probably wondering what's going on. These braces are mud, baby. So let's see. What does egg do? Was yours good? It was a boiled egg. What you mean, though? That's what I said. It was a boiled egg. Man, see, 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 see. 
I'm gonna try this here. I'm gonna try yeah, this here. Cause that first bite wasn't, wasn't it. That's probably what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Fuck up from the bottom. Okay. So, you still talking about respect. What's your, your thinking on respect in, in a relationship? Not, not marriage, in a relationship. Let's do that one first. It all go hand in hand. You do. You do. To respect is respect across the board. Friendship, working relationship, relationship, marriage. Respect is respect. Okay. Okay. I can dig it. So, what's too far and what's not too far as far as respect on social media? By you mean in, in a relationship? Certain shit you just don't do when you're in a relationship. You know, like, and you know when you overstep the boundaries. Ain't nobody got to tell you, you can act dumb. But you know when shit, when you overstep boundaries. So here's me on that on that point. You know you fucking up when you got to think about it before you do it. Mm-hmm. You know it ain't right. You gotta say, oh, if, if I hit the like button or if I come in, or whatever, this may not be right. I may get some backlash. I may get an argument when I get home. Whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think with that, that's your respect. Or e- e- even also, when y'all in a relationship and, and, and y'all going somewhere, me, respectfully, don't touch that fucking door. If we walking down some sidewalk, say we downtown doing whatever, you walk on the inside of me. I, I walk towards the street. You feel me? Why you walk with me like that? We be in Vegas. Yes, I damn did. Oh, I was just saying. Excuse me. You just checking, checking what? My temper's good. You know, I need to check it. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Bend over, let me take your temperature. Bend over. What? Wait, what? Dead. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. So anyway, move, moving back to relationships, I think we, we can go ahead and tie relationship and marriage on. Yeah. And stuff like that. No, no, no. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna eat this motherfucker. Mm. Mm. Oh, that means peace. So, this funny, and, and folks play about this shit a lot. Before I move on to marriage, say you and your, you, the, 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 your mate, the person you've been with for the longest. It comes a point on, on insurance and stuff, and it's like, uh, should I put this person on as my beneficiary? But y'all ain't married. Respectfully, should that person be your beneficiary? If y'all shaking up and living together like husband and wife, why not? Mm. If you love and trust that person like that, why not? Because at the end of the day, if y'all living together, y'all paying bills and shit, and you all of a sudden not there no more, is it fair to that person that... You know what I'm saying? That income is no longer there. Yeah, you're supposed to always have your own stuff and not depend on nobody else. But at the same time, if we in a relationship and we working towards marriage and stuff like that, hell yeah. And we've been doing this thing. Now, some people might disagree, but that's just my take on it. I don't disagree. Now, I'm, I'm, yes, it is a time limit. Well, not, I'm going to say time frame. I ain't finna meet you yesterday and you on my shit tomorrow. No, I'm not saying Not that. like that, but... If y'all are committed to living mm-hmm. together, y'all in a relationship, y'all doing grown folks things. If matter of fact, niggas, if y'all listening, homies, bro, oh my bad, what, what? Bros, if y'all listening, if you busting raw in her, she might want to be on your thing because uh, obviously there's something going to be there. So respectfully, do what you got to do. 
And vice versa, women, if, if y'all out here swallowing kids, stuff like that, I mean, hey, do the same thing. So, so when did you put me on yours? Hmm. We're going to get a 12. Hold on, let me dip one more time. Yeah, let's dip. I gotta remember, because you, you've been on for a while, so if we, we're talking facts, let me get the facts. Hold on, listen up. Mm. We've been a good 12, you've probably been on about 11 years. But, am I on yours? You wanna see the paper? Just say yes or no. Yes. How long? Probably about 10, 9, somewhere around now. Don't say 8. No. I said 11. You talking no, about, about 10? 10 or 9? Because I had to make show. Make show sure what? Nigga, I was for sure when I gave your ass that key. You was in my residence, so shit. Look here. Well, you should have put me on like two weeks after we started dating. It wasn't no damn two weeks. Yes, it was. It was about three weeks. It was two weeks. No, it wasn't. It Hold was on, let, let me. It was two weeks. No, 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 no. no about a month. It was about a month. It was about a month. No, it wasn't. It was about a month. No, it about a month. Yeah, it I was. Promise, but we're not going to argue on camera. No, 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 we can argue. No, it was about a month. It wasn't a month. It was two weeks. No. After I had put the root on you. That nigga did put that's, the root on me. She, put the, she put the root. That's uh, my business. Oh, uh, y'all Southerners. Y'all <laughs> crazy folks. Y'all know. Yeah, she and she put the root on me. She put it on me and it, it, it ain't never left. And it, I'm slinging jeans. So, I'm not good. I'm saying this up. <laughs> so, Um, I ain't forget about mine. Um, so now we, we moved on to, to, to respecting the marriage. Right? We, are, we can fully go out all the way on marriage. And I've got questions from, from folks asking about this here. And one of them was like, should you always check in with your spouse whenever you're all away? You asking me? That's one question I got, so let, let us answer that. Yes. Because it ain't to be like, oh, he better be what he say he's going to be. Because I trust you to be where you say he's going to be. I'm just trying to make sure you make it safely and all that. God forbid if something happened, I'll be able to pinpoint a time and say, hey, well, he texted me or called me at such and such time and told me he was at such and such place. It's a safety thing for me, and it's also about respect in your relationship. It ain't about being no wimp or whatever in your relationship. It's about respect. I agree. I agree. So respectfully, if your spouse decides to just do something for you at the whim, off the whim, is it at the whim, off the whim, how you go? On a whim? On a, on a whim. I'll get you a gift or something, man. You know in your heart, you be like, this ain't it. Respectfully, how would you respond to that? I ain't gonna be rude, but I'm gonna be like, babe, this ain't really my taste. So that person might be rude. So you might want yeah, to like, your feet. Ugh, your feet. this shit ugly. I don't want this. That's different. Well, you know how I probably like, hey, uh. But you ain't really never bought me nothing. I ain't like I said, maybe one and talk two things. Hey, look, hey, for those of y'all watching relationships, especially long relationships, and y'all always doing stuff for each other, ask questions along the line. I was just about to take say, notes. We tell each other now, like, stuff we got, or I just listen. Listen. Ask questions. And that's Take why, notes. But I'm a good gift giver, so. I'm just saying, because some people be like, oh, well, I just told you. No, 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 because 
the person you with respectfully right. gonna let you know what they want. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get them good gifts. I don't give no bullshit gifts. You should know that. Yeah, I'm just saying. So that's the way I feel on that. Mm, that's, that's but I like is. getting gifts too, and I don't want no bullshit ass gifts. And everybody not like you. Let's get that clear. Everybody not like you. You might go spend three, four hundred dollars on a gift. They might spend fifty. So you saying gifting is your love language? Just show me you appreciate me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like getting gifts. Ooh, you I like getting gifts, and I like when you just randomly do stuff for me. Baby, go get your nails and toes done. It ain't like I can't do shit like that myself. Or here, go get your lashes done. It ain't like I can't do it myself, but just the fact that you do that. I, I thought like you were going to say something next, like, okay, baby, here go this. But this? Nah, well, I don't want to say but this. Nah, this I ain't got that. Yeah. I ain't got no but this. Here's all that pussy. Well, here you go this. <laughs> Why you gotta make that face? That's what it is, baby. Uh-uh. You know, I don't even I read them shits. Uh-uh, that's why I'm putting it right here. Oh, okay. Well, look, man. Mm-hmm. You got anything else to say about that? About what? It's respect thing. It's, 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 it's across the board. It's across the board, you know? Respect me. And I'm going to respect you. And that's just what it is. Clear as day. That's what it's going to be. Do me dirty. You have yet to feel my wrath. Yeah, by the way, she's a cap. I'm a Virgo. Y'all know how it is. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't bring no game. I got issues. Give me on your ass. I'll put the juices up. Damn. Don't touch, don't touch my lobster. I'm about to kill that. So, hey, look, man, look. We're going to finish eating. I know y'all want to keep on watching us eating, but y'all comment down below. If you got any more questions on respect or any kind of relationship topics, and we will address it in another video. And we won't yeah. be gone so long next time. We won't. We won't. That's our bad. We, we got a lot of stuff going on. We got businesses to peep the hat. You know what I'm saying? Peep the hat. Uh, we have a custom design shop now to service all your needs. Whatever you need done, hit us up. Link will be down in the, in the description and below. Right, yeah, yeah. And that below. Um, what else we got going on? Mm-hmm. That's it. That's, that's, that's the main thing right now. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to show you out further ado. We're going to finish this food. So we're gonna holler at y'all next time. time. Matter of fact, I'll be breezy. Oh, y'all want to see us fuck these seafoods and stuff up again? Holler at me. We like eating seafood. We'll do it again. Just holler at us. We got corn out on my lip. And make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if you hadn't. Um, what you waiting on? What you waiting on? It's been up there. We've been up there. So, do what we're going to do. Yeah. Tell your mama. To tell your grandma. To tell your great grandma. Tell everybody. Your uncle, cousin, brother, sister. Who else? We here. Go on subscribe. Well, in the meantime, between time, we're going to holler. Peace.